and uh, Gonzalez on the offensive pushing Chavez back, which we're not used to seeing. Chavez's face getting red and been red for uh, since the second round. Whereas Gonzalez is unmarked. Combination by Chavez. Nice left hook inside, but he doesn't follow it up with anything. The, old, the older Chavez would have come back with two more combinations. There's the online scoring. We've got Chavez up. Yeah, Chavez up. There must be heavy favor. And it must it. be in a Mexican neighborhood. No holding, uh, says the referee uh, don't Garcia. Pull don't pull him. Don't, uh, don't pull him with you. Right, with uh, Chavez in mind. Slowing down a bit here in round four. Chavez just seems to uh, be waiting for something to happen. He's waiting for something, and I'm not sure what. His timing may be off. We could just have gotten up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Well, we saw him uh, resting comfortably uh, before the uh, fight earlier, along with uh, Gonzalez. He just didn't see him up. But everybody has their own way of preparing. Well, that's that fire that Duran talked about. He didn't see the fire in his eyes. And boy, there's a guy that knows about fire in the eyes. It's Duran. <laughs> I hate to stand next to him when he's peaceful. He's sitting right behind us. Yeah, no, he's one of my all-time favorites. Maybe the best lightweight that's ever lived. I was going to say, in my opinion, the best one that I've ever seen. And I've been looking at him for a long time. Well, Manos de Piedras is, is looking on hands of stone. Chavez trying to come on here late in round four. The crowd trying to get behind him. But he hasn't given much to uh, cheer about yet. Now the dancing. Yeah, we need to do something good here to take this. This is the trimmest Chavez has looked in a long time, but it's not helping him. And then Gonzalez hitting on the break, and he gets a warning from Lupe Garcia. You tell him to take one point away from him if he does that. They touch gloves, though. Well, these two guys were friends. Are friends. Not while you're in the ring, there are no such things. Good left hook by Chavez, right flush on the face of Gonzalez. Beautiful combination oh, of the right Chavez with a big right, and the he, bell sound. He started to get home with those punches. I don't know if it won him the round, but boy, it brought him close. Very hard to hear the bell. Here we go. He says, if, if his punches are all on your on your arms and your shoulders, you shouldn't you should just fend them off. Okay, muy bien, hondo, profundo. Very good. Breathe deep. Fast, he is gonna get tired. You're not. He is gonna get tired. You're not. Let's leave that last week hook might have taken that round for him because he really needed something nice. There you go. Now that's good. That second one lands. It could have been true. Right after he came through with another clean right hand right at the belt. Yeah, he punctuated that uh, fourth round with that right hand to, to end the round. So now maybe he feels a little fire. Maybe that stoked him up a little bit. Maybe he senses he can hit this kid. Then he uh, shot another one after the bell just for good measure. Abel Sanchez, who's trained seven world champions, talking to Gonzalez earlier. He's the trainer. And of course, the game plan's got to include that Chavez is going to get tired, but you're not. That's got to be one of the points. Chavez comes forward. This is the best he's looked in the fight. Oh, yeah, beautiful double left hook, one underneath, one up top. And they were clean. And he looked good doing it. Gonzalez holding on to him. Now he uh, gets back, maintains his distance, tries to regroup. I think he's really starting to feel the hurt. Nice jab. I see, Chavez is one of those guys that has heavy hands. Even though he's being outpointed by Meldrick Taylor way back when, his punches were doing all the damage. The facial damage is swelling, the black and blue, the cuts. He has powerful punches, and he has heavy hands. Combination uh, upstairs by Gonzalez, but uh, blocked. That comes Chavez. Nice triple jab by Chavez. That's how he needs to work in and fire that right hand. 
And those are the punches that you speak of. Those are the ones that mount up and do damage to your face. Mildred and many others. Nice left cross there by Gonzalez. Now some head movement, bobbing and weaving by Chavez. First time we've seen that tonight. Chavez uh, defensively doing the job too now, blocking punches. You see, most of that's kind of falling short. It looks good, not real effective, but Chavez is not answering, so he's not winning the combination. Gonzalez on the offensive, a winging right, but a grazing blow. Comes back with a left cross. That jab is not making contact by Gonzalez. The left hook did, but it was partially blocked. The jab by Chavez looking to set up the right. Oh, a right uppercut by Gonzalez. It got Chavez's attention. Now, Chavez didn't take advantage of a little uh, momentary superiority he showed at the end of that last round. He's kept going backwards here in this round. And uh, it's almost like he took a round off the rest. Yeah. He hasn't done enough to rest yet. Yeah, well. The old Chavez would have pounced right on his opponent after the end of that last round. Yeah, with an advantage like that, you got to run across and say, hey, let me start off where I left off. But he didn't. Travis is on his toes too much. He's not a fighter who bounces. He's an older fighter coupled with the fact that that's just not his style. That's not going to make him be effective. And he's getting hit. And Gonzalez said, the thing i got to do is get Chavez out of his game plan. We talked about Roberto Duran. He's behind us ringside on the uh, Spanish uh, telecast, uh, the simulcast over there. And, uh, boy, active since 1967, and he's still fighting. He's going to fight again. He was five years old in 67, Steve. Well, in his, so old after. No, you're not. in his prime, a tremendous mix of skill and ferocity. Roberto Duran. Double hooks by Chavez, and, and the, you can see the, a flash of the old Chavez here. One, two, and then back again. You see that? That's the old Chavez. But then he lapsed into the middle eight, Chavez. Don't stop. Keep coming okay. forward. Make it your fight. Make him fight oh. your fight. Good advice, but he hadn't done it. Round six begins. Chavez continues to assert his authority. Chavez has always been a master to it, taking away the second half of the fight against anyone who is getting a head on him early. He's real good at his strategic maneuvers in the late late parts of every fight. Combination to the head by Gonzalez. A couple of those were low in the early part. The problem, problem with that is, as this fight goes longer, he should get more tired. With the age and with the uh, disadvantage of 100 some odd fights, he should start wearing out. And it doesn't look like Mr. Gonzalez figures to lose any steam. And the weight uh, situation as well. He was 140. Oh, just missed with that right. He was 148 his last fight. 151 his heaviest two fights ago against Tony Martin. Talking about Chavez. And all of a sudden getting down to 140. That has to take its toll. And maybe because this crowd admires and loves him so much, there's been an absence of food stuff thrown in the ring. Nothing's thrown in the ring. So at least the fans are behaving for Chavez. There's a blessing until the decision comes. They do. They have so much respect uh, for uh, this guy that uh, an honor that unless, of course, something happens later. Let, let us, let's not think of later. Let's watch a good fight. Holding and hitting there and a left hook by uh, Chavez that got through. They're both doing it. Referee said, let's clean up the fight. Let's fight cleanly. Guadalupe Garcia from Mexico. Here we go again. Gonzalez keeping his hands active, 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 always punching, always moving. Whereas Chavez seems to be ready to load, but never does. I mean, when he does, he comes close, but, uh, you know, you got to do more than that. See the action, the activity on the part. 
You know, it's very difficult. Gonzalez. It's very difficult as a, as a fighter, someone who's fought for so many years, to watch a guy who you know his mind is seeing things that he should be doing. Exactly. His body's just not cooperating, and it's somehow frustrating for me sitting here watching someone. Just can't react as well as he used to. Well, you see it, but it doesn't happen. I once worked in the corner with a great Sugar Ray Robinson at the end of his career. I thought that was the greatest night of my life until I worked on the corner. He just kept coming back to me. I see it, but I can't throw it. I felt so bad. I mean, it was the worst night of my life in boxing. Gonzalez, eight years younger than Chavez at 27. Well, Chavez with a straight right hand that popped him right in the nose. That may have been the best Chavez by a punch of that round. He hasn't done anything. Chavez bleeding from his nostrils a little bit, too. Punch is starting to catch up with two engage. In fact, that once again, when he gets hit, not, his body's not reacting as well as he used to. Chavez's is jab beginning to find a home, too. He's doubling up, and there's a straight left, a straight right. Combination by Chavez at the bell. He keeps finishing strong at the bell. But that's not enough. You can't just finish with the last three punches. Trying to steal around. Can't do it. Maybe you can in here, though, on the other hand. Masawa, Masawa. Keep your, keep your guard up. Don't let him land those punches. You got to keep the jab going continuously. And then throw your right hand. Keep punching. Keep punching. Jab, jab. Then move out. Jab, jab. Move out. Throw the right hand. Motion, motion. Well, let's see what Chavez does when he works the jabs. Missed by a mile. And uh, in the meantime, a little tiny hook there in regard, and nothing else happened. All right, round seven, this big crowd at the Plaza de Toros. Chavez appeared to come out just now with a little more uh, vim and vinegar there, a little more hey, spring to his legs. Mal, Julio. He better do Lidio. something. We are halfway through. Let's get some unofficial scorecards. Bobby first. Well, you know, I said 59-55. I don't think Chavez has done much. I gave him a round. <laughs> I just don't see. I, I, I was going to, if Bobby hadn't said it, I was going to apologize for my scorecard. 59-55. Gonzalez ahead. I gave him one round to Chavez. I'm, you know, remember where we're at, gang. That's all I can say. I'm just telling you what I see. Well, we got two Mexicans in the ring, but this is Chavez country. As Bobby has mentioned, agendas are present. 4 2. Uh, Chavez on the online, you just saw. They have Chavez ahead 4 2. If I'm not mistaken. I missed that one. Yes. I apologize. Minute gone by in round seven. A little poke there on the uh, break by Gonzalez. He'll try anything, and so will Chavez. Here comes the debris, gentlemen. Yeah, there are well, uh, bottles, I talk, and. Uh, I, I talked too soon. <laughs> Yeah, things coming into the uh, into the ring because uh, they obviously can see what's going on in front of them, and Gonzalez is winning. And uh, may maybe that's the satisfaction, frustration that Chavez is not giving him the old. That's a great jab, great jab by by Chavez. Strong good body shot too, threw a nice right hand and a good body shot. But when he gets inside, he allows Miguel to just rip him apart with that right hand. And Gonzalez is able to slip some of those punches as well. He's fast, maybe too fast for, Ch for the aging Chavez. Well, what is it they say? He's still strong and still smart, but speed overpowers Chavez. Overwhelms him. Reflexes, that's the name of this game, and that's the first thing that goes when you get old. The reflexes go. And Gonzalez uh, landing with those swift little inside uppercuts. The main thing is it's busy. Chavez is having a better round, though. He's landing a lot more clean shots. Good shot. Just like that. Duck to the body and hook to the head. Let's see how Gonzalez reacts. The crowd again will erupt at anything Chavez does. That was very good for, for Chavez. Very good. Another good leaping little jab in there, but nothing when he once he got inside. Gonzalez trying the body shots, but not doing much damage. No, what it is, it's a continuous rain of blows. I'm talking about Gonzalez, oh. yeah. I understand Chavez. Here's the left jab that got through by uh, Gonzalez, but he didn't follow it up, Bobby. He was one and done. That's part of that problem with that age thing, too. You don't pull the trigger. Although he's pressing pretty effectively now, and it looks like a little fatigue factor might have set in. And Miguel Gonzalez just a little bit. 
much better around with Chavez. Pretty and left hook. Big shots clean, Steve. Yeah, good left clean hook there by uh, Chavez. Much better, Chavez. Much better. May maybe the best since he won that last one. It may be the best that gave him that. 50,000 plus on hand at the Plaza de Toros in the heart of Mexico City and the things.